hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is rosemary please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fam if you're returning welcome back welcome back in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your sewing machine and how to thread your needle without further ado let's dive right into this video I got the Butterfly GH8190S model. I got this one because I was familiar with this machine already. That's why I went for this one. You can definitely go for any other one. And I got it for 45,000 Naira as at last year 2020. It was 45,000 Naira. Currently, I don't know how much it is. It could be higher or lesser. It depends on where you're getting it. This is an electric machine, it works with electricity definitely, so it comes with an on and off switch by the right hand side, so once you plug it to the socket, it comes on automatically, showing you this light bulb. Next is the balance wheel, you definitely use it to control the movement of the needle. This, you use this for changing your stitches, so when I make wigs, I only use the zigzag stitch and sometimes the straight stitch. I use it when I'm handling a wig and then I use this when I'm sewing a wig. So yeah, this is basically for changing the stitches to any one you want. Next is the back stitch. So basically you hold that down and you press your foot panel to back stitch and lock your stitches. So it also comes with this detachable wire that's so long it comes with this detachable wire so you just attach it to this place and your machine comes on it also came with a foot pedal or a motor whichever one you feel like calling it so you basically just place your foot on it and you sew so up here you have your thread here let me remove this thread this is detachable. Up here, you put your thread, you attach your thread here and close it so it doesn't slide out when you're sewing. This is called the tension dial. It basically shows you how tight or loose your stitch is. So it came with this number three and I left it there. It works just fine for me. I don't see any need why you should um change it number three works just fine so just leave it at that it also comes with arrows to show you how to thread your needle so i'm going to be showing you guys that so i also came this is detachable as well so in here i have this little sewing kit yeah in here you have your extra needles your bobbins your brush your oil it's just like a sewing kit for extras yeah um this is called a bobbin this is where you pull your your thread that goes under here so in here gosh look how dirty that is this is the thread So this is a bobbin with the thread i'm going to be showing you guys how to thread this the bobbin goes in here so threading your bobbin you need another um thread you can also use that but i don't see the need so what is going to happen is you're going to start going around here first and then you place it on that silver thing right there yeah and you push it that way like that yes and then you gently put your leg on the foot control panel and you start sewing It's 
stops moving. That's when you know you've had enough. So you use your scissors to cut and you pull this out and bring out your, your bobby. And then your bobby goes in here like this. And then this thread goes like this. It's that simple. Yeah. So putting the bobby in here now, you have to make sure your that is on that side. You use this control panel here to make sure this is on this side and this one, this sharp edge is facing down. And then you fix it like this. Yeah? And then this goes, make sure this place is facing upward. So this, you push it in here and you push that and it helps you hold it automatically. So here you take your bobbin holder and make sure this place is also facing upward. This place is facing upward. And then it goes in. And then you push it in and lock it. You have your thread here and you place it like this. And then you lock it. So once you put your thread here, you go like this. Let me stop locking you guys. You just follow the arrow and the needle goes like this. Your thread, sorry. Then it goes like this again. And then you come down here. You just follow the arrow is taking me down here. And then you go back. Because there's this other white arrow here, you're turning back to this and then you put it in here and then you come back down the arrow is telling you to come back down so you cut your thread and you put it through the eye of the needle make sure you drop this is for dropping there's a white thing here that raises this and brings it down. so yeah you drop that so you can see the needle very well and put the thread through the eye of the needle so yeah so once the needle the thread is is in the needle you just take it backward make sure your thread is always backward once your thread is backward you use the needle controller to Use the upper thread to pick the down thread. It basically does that automatically. All you have to do is just to keep rotating the needle. Um. Keep looking at this place. Once you see that this thread has picked it, I usually use my scissors to pull out the thread. And you have two threads. The up one and the down one so you're taking it backward and then you close this place yeah so let me quickly show you guys how to change your needle so this is your needle you see this silver thing right here you just have to twist it so this is your needle right here all you have to do is just loosen this part and Make sure this is this needle part, the eye of the needle is facing you. Make sure it's facing you. So you just put it. I don't know if you're saying, let me do that again. So you just put this right under here and then you screw this back. It's that easy, guys, to change your needle. We've come to the end of today's video. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave your comment in the comment section, click that notification bell to get notified each time I post, and I'll see you in my next video.